Amen. Let us open our hearts to worship the Lord, our King of Kings, the I am that I am, the Osho Divider. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, it's wonderful. Jesus. Oh, it's wonderful. Is Jesus, Praise, 
Hallelujah. Glorious Lord, I bless your name, Lord Jesus. I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. I decrease myself for you to increase, Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, without you, I am nothing. Without you, I am empty. Lord Jesus, may you feel your daughter, Lord Jesus. May I not speak my word, but your word, Lord Jesus. Every speech that is going to come out from me, Lord Jesus, let it come from you. I empty myself to you, Lord Jesus. I hand over to you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I'm just an empty vessel without you. Father, fill me up, oh God. You said as a potter in a clave, Lord Jesus. Father, may you mold me, Lord. May you feed me, Lord Jesus. Faithful Father, I empty myself to you, Lord Jesus. Father, may you take all the glory. May you take all the honor. Father, may this, may this exhortation this evening, may it transform your children, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious Father. Thank, Thank you, King of all glory. Thank you, yeah. a chance of day. Thank you, Thank Ayana, you Ayana. Thank you, Jesus. May flesh not speak through me, Lord Jesus. May flesh not take dominion over me, oh Lord Jesus. Every word that is going to proceed out of me, Lord, may it come from you. May it come from the throne of grace, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank, Thank you, Jesus, for glory. In, in Jesus' mighty name, we have praised. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This evening, can we please open our Bible to the book of Acts? Acts of Apostles. The book of Acts of Apostles, from 25 to 31. Please, if you are there, you can kindly read. Sixteen. Hallelujah. Chapter chapter fifteen. From chapter fifteen, 16, 31. sir. Sixteen, okay. No, sixteen from twenty-five to thirty-one. Okay, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. He said, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prison heard them. 26. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison were shaking, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone bind. We are loose. 27. And the keeper of the prison awake out of the sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoner had been fleeing. 28. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all year 29. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Salah 30 and brought them out and said, Sas, what must I do to be saved? 31, the last verse. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And the house. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My topic of today is the benefit of praising God. The benefits of praising God. If we look at the life of Paul and Salah, despite they were in prison, despite they were bound in prison, they still remember to pray and sing. The word of God said they pray and they were singing to God. And heaven hear their voice. Not only heaven, the prison, the whole community hear their voice. Even when they were praising, they were singing. Even the, priest, the, the, the keeper were sleeping. But heaven hear their voice. The Bible says in that 25 I read he said, but at midnight, Paul and Salah were praying and singing 
What are they singing? Singing melody to Christ. That's why they were burned. That's why they were shamed. If you study the book of Apostles, you see how they brought, how they, they took them into that prison. You will know what took place that made them to throw them inside that prison. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why they were burned. That's why they were whole captive. But they still remember that there is something they need to do. One thing is to pray. One thing is to sing. When you, you are praying, you pray at the right time. You know the right thing to do at the right time. Paul and Salah know that this is not only prayer. Only prayer cannot do this. Let us sing it to it. There is something when praising God with full heart. When you open your heart to praise God, there is result. Praise the Lord. He said, when they were praying, the prison yard hear their voice. In the, in the, in the, there were a great earthquake. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even the, 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 the people that we are, that we are looking at them, that we are guiding, that we are asleep. That was what the word of God said. He said they were asleep. Although the music, they were praising and singing, but the people that were watching over them, we are asleep, we are asleep. But they praise because they open their heart to God. Because they sing from inside of them, inside their heart, they open their heart to praise God. Heaven hear their voice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 26. He says, suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison were shaking. You see, opening your heart, opening your heart to Christ, praying, singing, we shake everything around us. When we are passing through challenges, when we are passing through things, difficulty, but when we remember to praise God, when you remember to exalt the name of God, give him praise, despite the challenge, but Paul and Salah remember that, let give God praise. Let exalt this maker. Let give God praise, because they know that it is only praises can deliver them from those things. When they praise God, what was the outcome? What was the thing that comes from it? They see the result. They see the result, not only the result. People were led to Christ. They we so to Christ, even in that prison, even in that challenge, when they were born in shame. They see we so to Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 27 is and the keeper of the prison, and the keeper of the prison awake from sleep. And see the prison door open. Who opened the prison? It was the praise, the praise that come out from the mouth of Paul and Salah that wake our heavenly father, that make the, 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 the prison yard to be open. So surprisingly, the prisoner had flee, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. 28, for but Paul called with a loud voice, saying, do yourself no harm, for we are all here. We are here because the prisoner, the, 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 the keeper thought that Paul and Salah are fleeing from the prison. Paul has, the, priest, the keeper did not know that Paul and Salah were dead because they could not go. They were dead because of their praise. Verse 20, verse 29. Then he called for a light. Then he called for a light, ran in and fell down, trembling before Paul and Salah. Verse 30. And he brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? What was, must I do? The praise of Paul and Salah we saw to God. Even in that condition, even in that extent when they were born in shame, because of the praise of Paul and Salah, opened the, 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 heaven, opened the doors of heaven and win souls to Christ. Then Paul and Salah win the skipper to God. Why? Because of they remember God with praises. They remember to glorify God despite their challenges. So let's go into the word of God. Let's see what praises do. What the commandment that Jesus Christ said to us about praises. Praise the Lord. Let's Amen. open to Amen. Ephesians 5, 19 to 20.
Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ephesians 5, 19 to 20. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. So speaking to yourself in Psalms and hymns and spiritual song, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Verse 20. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in name in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See what the fish have said. He says, singing praise. Even when Paul and Salah were singing, meaning they were singing with it then. They were singing with hymns. Singing with in, in, in then. If the, the keeper could not hear their voice, meaning they were singing melody through their hearts. Through their hearts. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I read, speaking to one another in psalm and hymn, a spiritual song, spiritual song, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. They were making melody, singing unto God, and heaven will hear their voice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I read, singing melody. Verse 20, give it times always for all things to God, the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. When, the, when you are passing through something, when you are passing through challenges, remember praise. Always remember to give praise to God. Leave the challenges aside. Let the challenges go. Leave it. Throw it away from your heart. Give praise to God. When you give God praise, when you let, make a praise be your habit, God will answer. As if he could answer Paul and Salah in that presence, in that state, meaning he can answer me and you. Not when you are giving praise, you, want, you have to praise with your heart, in spirit, with hymns, not this worldly song, not this worldly uh, music, uh, uh, Christian music, but you have to praise with hymns. Hymns and the, 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 the praise that will give God glory, the praise that will give God thanks, the praise that will move God, the praise that will move the attention of God, that is the praise that will give. Praise the Lord. When you Amen. give the praise to God, God will even we hear our voice and God will answer. When you are singing praise, when you have minus with someone, you are giving praise to God, that, that praise will not be heard. When you want to sing praise to God, you are passing challenging. You, that, those challenges you are passing is in your heart. And you say you are giving God praise. Those praise cannot be heard. It's when you free your heart. When you free your heart, you free your mind. You free your thought, your think, your, 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 your heart, your mind. You free them. You hand over everything to God. Hand over the challenges to God. Give God praise. Meaning those praise can be heard. Hallelujah. When you empty yourself, you give God praise, those praise will be heard. Not when you will be like, like you are passing challenging, you are passing through difficulty, you are praising God. Not you that is singing, it's only your flesh. Like, God, come and sing, come and sing, hallelujah. Like, you are singing songs. Even your children will also say, I, what is my mother doing or what is my dad doing? Is my dad talking to me? But when you are talking to God, you are talking to your maker, you have to empty yourself, sing from deep inside you. Sing from your heart, from the bosom of your heart, sing to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let also go to First Peter, First Peter 2. Verse 9. First Peter 2 9. First Peter 2 9. Praise God. Hallelujah. But ye are a choosing generation. A royal okay. priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show for the praise of him who had called you out of darkness. Out of his darkness. marvelous light. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. You hear what the Bible says? Let me read. He said, but you are a choosy generation because you are different. A choosy generation, you are different. A choosy generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, is whole special people that you may proclaim the praise of him who called you out of darkness. Meaning this praise is the commandment. It's something that we have to live inside us. It's something that we need to be doing continually, not when you are passing through things, then you will know that, and let me sing praise to God, God will answer. No, this is a commandment. This is what we need to do. Giving God praise is part of the commandment of Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Singing melody to God is the commandment. It is what God commands us to sing praise to him. It's to sing hymns to him. It's to sing melody to him. Giving him praise. Letting him know who is he in our life. Letting him know that he has brought us out of darkness to his marvelous light. Singing praise to God is making him to know that creating me and you is something. Creating me and you, he will know that he, for that day he, make, he has made that he will create me and you, he will not regret because we are making him to know that he is God. Giving praise to God is like, let me make, make let me make inference about like a mother. Maybe you want to do something for your son or your daughter. When you do an important thing to your son, when the kind of praise that a son or a daughter will give to you, you, you will continue to do more, 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 because he's praising you. Like, he's singing to you, ah, my lovely mommy, my lovely daddy, ah, I thank you. He's singing praise. When you are exalting the name of God, God will know that, ah, this is my son. This is my daughter. Really, he has really fulfilled that purpose I create him. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, heart of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. God has taken us from darkness to his marvelous light to give him praise, to proclaim his praise, to sing praise, to sing melody to his children. We get, if maybe, let's see, when you go to heart, you know the people of the world. Once you see those, you say, oh, God, I give you praise. I thank you because I am different. I thank you for making me special, for making me know that I am special. Lord, I bless you. I begin to give God praise. Ah, heaven will rejoice. Hallelujah. Because, Let's yeah. also open to Isaiah 43, verse 21. Isaiah 43, verse 1. Yeah, Isaiah 43, verse 21. Verse 21. Yes, ma'am. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. These people have I formed for myself. Mm -hmm. They shall show forth my praise. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. You see what the word of God says. This is between me and you. This is what we need to be doing. Not where we are praising. It's like we are praising man. We are praising a, 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 a human like you. When you, you will proclaim the praise of God, it's like you are exhorting him. You are making him to do more. You are making him to do more. When you are praising God, it's like you are fulfilling the purpose of God in your life. When you are praising God, it's like, you are making him to know creating you is not a regret. Hallelujah. If yes, you shake, let's shake the life of Brother David. If you study the book of Psalm, you study the life of Brother David, you will know the life of Brother David is all about praise. Even when David sings, what he will do, he will go on his leg, he will lie down, praise God, remember God that he is God. Him just and human. If you're a human like me and you, he will let God know that he can sing. God, he will begin to praise God. If you see the book of Psalms, it's just about thanksgiving, giving God praise, exalting the name of God. Let look at my brother Gideon. When God sent him to, to, to walk, what did God command him? Just to be praising him. He has there to be singing praises. Hallelujah. Let look at my brother Joshua. 
Brother Joshua, when you want to follow the word, Jericho, when God wants to do a wonder in that land, what did God say? He said, let us shout praise. Let them shout praise. When they shout praise, what to come? God take over. God take over. Hallelujah. Yes. Giving God praise is commandment we need to. Giving God praise is a commandment me and you need to do. Hallelujah. If we don't know how to praise God, it's just pause for us to ask God, Father, help me to praise you. Teach me how to praise you. Not, I don't want to pray a human like me. Teach me how to exalt your name. God will teach you. God will teach me. God will teach us because he's the one that creates us. He's our teacher. Because he knows that you are on guard of him. When you have God to teach you, he will teach you. Hallelujah. Let's go back to that same act. Verse 13. Acts 16, verse 30. Yes, sir. Say, and brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? 31. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And Hallelujah. House. Amen. Hallelujah. What Amen. do that keeper see in the life of uh, Saul and, uh, uh, Paul and Salah? Paul and Salah did not preach to them. My beloved brother, my beloved sister, they did not preach to that keeper because when the, 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 the keeper see the move of God in the life of Paul and Salah, he has to surrender to God. When you are giving God praise, when there, if maybe your gift, as our teacher said, he said, if there are some people, your gift is just to be praising. Yes, your gift is just to be worshiping. There are some people, they know how to worship, but they don't know how to praise. Praise the Lord. When you are praising God, is your gift. When you are worshiping God, is your gift. When you know how to praise and you are not selling it, there are some people, when praising God, they higher than they pay them. But no. If God gave you a gift of praising, you are selling it. It's like you are selling yourself. God gave you that gift for you to praise him, not to sell it. When God gives you the gift of worship, you are not selling the, that worship. Before someone hire you or a church come and minister, you sell it, you press it. It's like you are not, you are not no more, you are not praising God at all. You are not worshiping God at all. You are not selling the gift that God has put in you. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you go, when, maybe someone invites you to a conference. For just for you to come and worship, you are worshiping God. You did sell it. You see the manifestation of God. There are some things that praise this we do. There are some things you we fast, you will pray. Answer will not come. But you, when you praise God, heaven will be open to us. When you when you, you just enter, you just say, God, all I need is you. All I need is you. You just begin to praise God. You begin to remember God, how good he is. How great, how great is he? You all begin to exalt the name of God. You all begin to give me praise. You all begin to, it's like you are praising God. You are talking to your own master. Like you are talking to your own husband. And your own husband. You are talking to your wife. You all begin to exalt the name of God. You see the outcome of it. You see the, the benefit of it, of praising. God has commanded, God has commanded me and you to give him praise. It's not all about when you are going through challenges, then you will remember that, yes, I have to praise God. No, let it be part of you. Let it be your daily meal, your daily food. When you are doing things, you are bathing, you are cooking, you are doing things, give, be, give me God praise. You'll be exalted in the name of God. You'll see the outcome of it. You'll see the benefit of it. No way you want to pray, then you will remember that, let me come and praise. No. Sometimes when you are walking, you are just showing you are going, you are going to anywhere. You'll be giving God praise. Not when you are going, you are praising. People will be hearing your voice. No, that one is not praise. When you are going, like you want to go out, be praising in your heart. 
that one is praise. Not when you are praising, your community will not come to you as a your voice. No, that one is not praise. Hallelujah. When you want to communicate to your father, you want to communicate to your, your creator who creates heaven and earth, the old maker. If you can praise a human like you, then what is the next thing? So you have to pray. We have to praise God because that is our command. That is the commandment God creates. God creates, give to me and you to praise him. It is a commandment. We have to obey it. Praise the Lord. If we make a praise, praising God a lifestyle, the, the benefit is sure. The result is sure. Praise the Lord. Giving Amen. God praise is all. There is things that prayer cannot solve. There are some bush that prayer cannot clear. There are some bush that worship cannot clear. There are some bush that sin cannot be, but there, there are some bush that praises, only praises can clear. There are some doors that prayer cannot open. But when you open your heart, sincerely, every know, God know that yet you are praising him. Those doors will be open. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to Colossians 3, verse 16. Colossians 3, verse 16. Say, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. In all wisdom, teaching, admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual song, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. You see, you see what the what the what God is talking to saying to me and you. You see what God is saying to me and you that we should. Talk to one another with what? With hymns. Hallelujah. Praise God. I read. Let the word of Christ dwell in you. You are singing the word of God. You don't open the word of God maybe once a week or once in a month. How will you sing melody? When you ask, you said the, the, that's the word of God, that is the word Christ is telling me and you. He said, let the word of God dwell in you. When you remember the word of God, you know what is following it. You know what we attach to it. He said, let the word of God, the word of Christ dwell in you, richly in all wisdom. Teaching and admonish one another in psalm and hymn with song with singing with him singing melody to christ singing melody sweet melody worshiping god giving god praise hallelujah praise god and spiritual song singing with grace in heart to the lord singing with grace this is a commandment we need to have we need to acknowledge we need to follow the commandment of god if you don't know how to praise god my dear brothers and sisters let us god to teach us when we don't know how to praise god we say we are following we are practicing holiness you don't know how to praise god you don't know how to exalt this god you see this is not holiness if you could practice holiness, if you could throw away these things, if you could practice this faith, believing God without praising God, you see, it is not complete. It is not complete, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us learn how to give God praise. Let us learn how to sing melody to God. Let us learn how to sing hymns, songs, and praise to God. There is sweet of sweet singing to God. There is, there is, there is, 
this outcome, this thing that come whenever you are praising God. There is this witness when you are praising God with, with your heart, with your heart, heart open, singing praise to God. Even you yourself will know that, yes, you are praising God. Whenever you open your heart to praise God, you yourself will know, we testify, yes, I praise God. No, whenever, no way you are praising God, you still have someone in your heart. When you are praising God, you still, you, you still have that heart of unforgiveness. How will God answer that praise? How will heaven receive that praise? If praise, praise could win souls to God, if praise could win those keepers to God, my dear brothers and sisters, let's put it in practice. Let learn this praise. Our beloved brother, we are saying, if you know how to sing, it's like I went to go and tell him that this is the topic I'm about to teach today. If you know how to praise, come in me, come to me privately. My dear brothers and sisters, let praise this God. Practicing holiness without praise, praising God, it will. It, mm -mm. There's no result. We have to have everything to hit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. To you and no be all the glory. Amen. To you and no be all the honor. Let let me round up with this verse. Psalm 100, 136, verse 1. To two, to three, sir. Psalm one thirty six. Yes, sir. Psalm one thirty six. One to three, sir. Okay, I'm I'm coming. Psalm one thirty six, one to three. He said, "Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercies endure forever." Oh, give thanks unto God of God for his mercies endure forever. Three, oh, give thanks to the law of law for his mercies endure forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, oh, give thanks, give praise to God for his mercy. You see, when you give praise, mercy. When you give praise, it's like you are praising God. You are letting God to know that He is the God of all gods. When you are giving thanks to God, He's making Him to know He is your Maker. Give thanks, give praise to God, for He is good. Give thanks, give praise to God, because He deserves. Uh, praise me and you praise God deserve it give thanks to the Lord of laws for his mercy endure forever may the Lord Jesus Christ bless his words into our hearts may our God teach us how to praise him may he teach us in Jesus name amen brother Andover. amen